Hey, besties. Can you see it? Wait, can you see it now? My little thing. Boop. I got it from Mam Mamuso. Mamuso. Sarah asked for directions. She was like, Mamuso. And they were like, Mamuso. So I don't know how to say it, but I got it from there. She basically said the same thing, but she was like, you said it wrong. She made it seem that she didn't understand what I was saying. Yeah, the lady and the rhyme Mamuso. And she was like, sorry. Yeah, I think it's really cute. We also got a blue one. Sarah's got a blue one and I've got a pink one. So we're like, Swimming. So today, very excited, very highly requested. More than one person has asked for this video. Today I'm going to be showing you all my different, well not all of them, but anyway, I'm going to show you all my different lip combos and how I overline my lips, the technique. Boop, 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 technique. I'm gonna show you my lip liners. Thank you. I got also a lip liner slash lipstick from Mamuso which I swatched and I could not wash it off to save my life it took me so long so I think it's gonna be really good for eating for my mukbangs okay MAC lip liners the girl was too stunned to speak some of them are MAC but most of them are MAC and then this one from Mamuso and I've got some lip glosses and hydrating products and one lipstick i don't really use any other lipstick so it was i used to use velvet teddy a lot but this one's better it's hot gossip it's like pinkier so i like it better on my complexion got these I think it looks nice lip gloss blonde. yeah well with different hair you need different like lip colors it complements do you know what i mean when i had black hair hair like my velvet teddy and now that i've got a bit of blonde i'm like pink Barbie, hot gossip, do you know what I mean? Okay, so which one shall we start with? Should we start with the smallest one? Because, okay. So right now on my lips, I've got Awake by Tarte, just hydrating. Excuse my nails, I'm gonna do them soon. So that's why some of them are broken, but. They're broken? Some of them are broken, yeah. Well, some of them are chipped. This one's chipped. I'm sorry. And this one's chipped. Yeah. I supposed to do my nails two days ago, so it's not me. Yeah, the lady had old. COVID, so I have to I have to wait. I'm not okay. Health is wealth, and I hope she feels better. This is stripped down. I've used it quite a bit. That's why it's so teeny tiny. It's like a nice brown. I really like the undertones of this. What would you say the undertones are? It's like a, it's not an ashy brown. It's like a ready brown. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips for you and I'm gonna show you. I have my micellar water for my in-betweens. We accidentally got paper thin cotton. Okay. So now these are just my lips. We're gonna have a lot of eye contact. Okay, so I, I always start with my bottom lip. Got that yeah. I convinced her to not buy this this mirror i was like we don't need it because we buy really unnecessary things sometimes so i was like we don't need it like we don't need it but we did need it because i could have used it today but it's okay we can go back and buy it i always start with my bottom lip i start in this corner and i just I go under overlines. sorry i never overlines but i just go under my lip that's my bottom lip line so I always start from like there so just like right before my lip crease lip. I don't know hinge I don't know and what is this called I connecting know. I don't know the corner corner of my lip right before the corner and I just do that and then I color in this a little bit more okay so you see I just I line right below where my lip is because then it darkens that bit and it makes it look a bit like more do you know what i mean like it's a bit heavier sometimes i'll do this if i'm feeling crazy i'll just do a little angelina jolie contour and then the upper lip is so much harder this sometimes takes a couple tries but i start from the middle and then i just go into here so i don't follow my natural lip line i go above my natural lip line here and then I cross over. Does that make sense? Now the other side, same thing. So do you see the difference? I've made it slightly more curved than it is here. Here it's a bit just like, just goes down. So I've made it more curved and then it just ends a bit earlier. Does that make sense? Like it's a bit, so it's more concentrated in the middle. Okay, let's do the other side. Go. 
that's done. And then just colour in a bit more. So colour in where the actual lip line is, where your actual lip line is, so that it's not a different colour to the lip liner. Okay, so now it's lined. So with this colour, I wouldn't usually go for like a pinkier colour. I'd go for like just a more hydrating, lighter, like less pigmented colour. Not the hot gossip normally. I'd probably go with one of maybe this one, just blend it. Did you bring something for me? Oh, maybe this to also, this is a gloss. This maybe. So all of these are options. I wouldn't do these two because they're too clear for this colour because it doesn't match my lip colour enough. So I have to blend it with one of these. Smooth down one of these. The dual is a bit tingly, makes it a bit lip plumper. It's really nice actually. It's a bit tingly, but it's bearable. And it goes away after a bit, so. Try that. <laughs> I might have overlined a bit too much on the bottom lip here, but it's fine. It's fine because you can't really see because it goes over it, do you know what I mean? My lip hides it. Anyway. No, it's too much. I'll just fix that now. <laughs> Combo number one, combo number one was, let me remind you guys, Strip Down by MAC and the Dior Lip Maximizer. So this is like, when would I wear this look? Any day, to be honest. I would wear this, this is a good one for like a natural makeup look. Like, I don't want to really show that I'm wearing lipstick, lipstick. I just want to look like some gloss on my lips. I'm hydrated, do you know what I mean? Because this, this lip liner isn't too dramatic. So it's a more everyday moment. <laughs> Do we like it? Combo number one. Ta -da! Now let's do number two. Okay, shall we go with the darker one or shall we go with the pinkier one? I'll do the lip liner process again. Cork is the newer one, so it's a big one. Let me swatch it so you can see it next to strip down. It's a bit of a cooler toned brown and then this one's also whirl. So whirl and cork are very similar. It's a bit lighter, it's like an in-between of stripped down and cork. This one is cork and this one is well. That one's stripped down, the first one. It's too a bit darker, a bit more like evening, sultry. So let's do cork. Sometimes with the dark ones, you have to colour your lip in a bit more. Just so that the lipstick blends properly and it's not like a harsh line. So that's how I'd colour my bottom lip in, leave the middle bit so that it's lighter, so that it creates that effect of the, the middle's fuller. Okay, so that's my top lip done. This is the look. No, I'm joking. Colour in a bit. And now we're going to go for, we're going to do a bit of a mix today. H2O gloss from Tarte. Let's try that one. Most of the time, by the way, I just pick up whatever is closest and I just see how it looks. So let's try. No, I think it's gonna need a bit of hot gossip as well. It's very dark, this color. Better, it, this color needs a full makeup though. Yeah. You can't just, this I would really look crazy if I just went out like this without any makeup on. I wouldn't look crazy, I'd be doing whatever I want. I've, I did wear this combo when I went to dinner the other day. When we went to Shanghai Me. Yeah. This is the color I wore. I like it. I do think it's cute. Look number two, what do we think? Ta-da! It's the dark look. We're getting into the pinker look, so if that's what you're waiting for, just wait. I'll show you. Okay. Is it sore? Yeah, sore. So this was my sore for like the longest time and then like three days ago I went and bought a new one. But like, what's the point? You need to finish your lip liners. So don't be embarrassed to have short lip liners. Yeah. And these ones fit in your bag. bag. Exactly. Perfect for a night out. How am I supposed to put this in my tiny little bag? Tell me, Mac, how? But at least they give you a lot of product, so it's fine. Imagine they start selling short ones. No, that would actually annoy me. No, but if it's cheaper it's fine if they yeah. sell like half this size as a travel size one and it's cheaper it's okay yeah. yeah so we used to use these ones when when i lost my saw for a bit 
because we were traveling around, I bought these ones in boots. Maybelline, it was color essentials. This one's really nice. This one's an, also a pink. I'll swatch it for you guys now. I'll swatch it for you guys next to Saw. This was a good, this was a good dupe for Saw when I didn't have my Saw available next to me and it's really soft so it's really nice like for the whole lip that's the maybelline one there and that's saw really similar right and the maybelline one is called almond rose 56 almond rose it's very nice and it's not you don't have to sharpen it so if you don't have a sharpener you just roll it up it's really convenient so let me do my lips with the saw <laughs> This is my current favorite combo, by the way, is the saw and the um, hot gossip. So I'll show you guys. So that's my bottom lip, the same as last time. Do 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 do. Little bit color in the corner. I really want to open this, so I don't know. Just wait until I finish my lips, then I'll open it. I've waited two days. Just wait. <laughs> What? This? Like all over the lip. It's a nice colour on its own. Even with just a bit of a wake on top, you can just go out like this. But like for a full moment, I go with a hot gossip. You can literally, saw goes with any of these. A wake goes with the Dior, goes with this, goes with this, which is kind of almost clear. What's this called? It's the Maracuja Lip Juice by Tarte. It's in rose. And you just click it out and it goes like, it's like basically clear. Can you see it? It's there. Wait. It's just like a tiny, well, it's not clear. It's like a bit pink, but do you know what I mean? Basically same, like nude. This is clear, but it's really nice. But if you're just gonna buy a lip balm, there's no need to buy that. It's like overpriced. It's, it's a bit overpriced. We bought a lip balm from Mama Sir. Oh, it's tinted? Yeah. Novo is called a little pudding moisturizing lip balm. It's really cute. She she didn't tell me that she bought it because she thought I was gonna tell her we the don't need it. There's a mirror inside. Stop, show me, that is so it's really cute and you look at the, um, the little they logo like this place is very cheap this mimoso place it's, it's like really one cute. of those esso ones but i think esso is bad for you yeah, so make, makes it a bit dry. yeah this is like k beauty i think but like really K -beauty. yeah this is k beauty also bought loads of face masks and stuff let me just swatch it on my hand can i swatch it on my hand do you mind it comes out like barely any Let's color see. but it, it feels moisturizing it feels very nice yeah That's you can try it so it's I'm gonna so do nice. my top lip with the oh, maracuja. It looks, looks really nice. Does it, look really it looks hydrating. It looks lovely. I'm gonna do my top lip with the maracuja, so you can just see what it would look like. It smells a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Just with a bit of lip bar. You see? Do you see that? Cute, right? I'm gonna do my bottom lip with this, so I'm not gonna like. No boo. Strawberry. <laughs> show you the difference do you see the difference this is like a pinker and this is like a more nude is it strawberry flavored apparently but it doesn't really does it taste like strawberry it doesn't mm. smell like anything it doesn't smell like anything it's like then if you mix it together that's the look it feels organic oh stuff. okay yeah if you know natural I mean. like natural like they use natural ingredients for it like maybe avocado oil i see so nice. that's the this is my most favorite lip combo right now. Look at number three. Boo, boo, boo. This is something that we just bought also from Mamaso that I was telling you I couldn't wash it off my hand. It took me like forever. So this is called Droll. 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 Lipstick lip liner combo. It's in the number three. To be honest, the color selection was not, not giving. One. It wasn't giving what I they wanted it to three. give. They had like five colors, but they were all like. Red. They were like red, which I'd never do a red lip. Maybe I will in the future, but it's not really my vibe right now. Mm. Red lip or like orange, but this one, oh. sorry. I liked this color and it was like basically waterproof. So this color, let me swatch it for you guys. So that's the lip liner side and it's that color. So it's similar to these ones, similar to cork. Yeah, I don't know Very how similar to cork. Like it's the same feel. color in lipstick. Okay. Yeah, also you can you can buy these lip liners in lipstick color as well, but I don't like to have the same lip liner as my yeah, lipstick definitely. most of the time. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but maybe I'll try and mix and match it. Is that the same side? Yeah. Okay, so it pulls out like this, not like 
from this side it's like a lipstick like that and Those this is are like so 90s right i feel like i'm in the past this like skinny yeah skinny tube but i like the tube i think it's really yeah, it's cute really i like that lips lip balm that you used to have I that, a lot. that the clinique one the clinique one it's so black good. honey i didn't like the color on me but it I looked nice it. on sarah it looked really good on sarah let me swatch it right next to the lip liner so that's it right next to the lip liner. It is a bit of a different colour. It's a tiny bit lighter, I mm. think. What do you think? Yeah. Maybe it's just more sheer. Already, straight away from my review. It's a bit thick, this lip liner, for the yeah. precision of line that I'm interested in. But let's try it. I feel like you've put it up a lot. Huh? Like oh, sorry, sorry. Just giving me anxiety. Okay. Better now? Yeah. <laughs> I used to really only wear cork and well, which are quite dark. I used to really like a darker lip. I think I used to not really like pink on me. So, you know, it's whatever you guys feel. It's hard. It's harder to use than the lip liners because it's also soft. This could just be like a lipstick on its yeah. own. It doesn't give lip liner. The lipstick smells like sherbet. I'm not loving. It's too dark for it's, you, I think. It's too dark. Um, I, I would have liked this two years ago. Full. With a full face, with foundation, maybe. But I'm feeling like it's patchy. If I was going to use this, I think I would just use this side as a whole, on my whole lip, like a lipstick. Maybe pat it. And if I was going to use this it. side, I would use it with a different lip liner and just like... No, it, it is just basically well all over your lips. It's well all over my lips, which I used to love. Yeah. But it's just not me anymore. Maybe I need, I need more makeup and I need like dark eyeshadow. Like it needs to be a whole whole thing. Let me put some H2O, H2O gloss on top because I haven't used that yet. Have I? I don't know. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I will be using this. I bought it now, so I will use it, but I won't use it as intended. This is a bit better, yeah. a bit more pink, but still not not without foundation. I wouldn't wear it like yeah. this. I would have foundation on with this lip liner. Maybe I should have put foundation on for this video so that they could see. You should do another video. All the other lip liner videos I've seen, people have been wearing foundation. I don't know what's wrong with me. You guys can't get the full effect, but imagine it. Use your imagination. Let's use the um, Maybelline one now. I quite like this colour. Have you tried it? Yes, I have tried it. It's really, I feel like it's But this natural. isn't... Did you say this one's really natural? I feel like if you put it on your lips... That's this one. And then, like, rub, melt it in. If you put a tiny bit on your yeah, lips. Like, Thing is, Sarah doesn't line her lips. She, like, really lightly just... I just do, put do, some dots, and then put balm. Dots it around and, and then puts balm. She never lines her lips, because... Allah, she has a nice shape, so she doesn't need to, but... I'll try and be light-handed with this one, because I usually just draw a line, and not like a butterfly mm -hmm. little line. My battery's dying. Wait. I quickly finished this, this last one, so... A lip balm. What do we think? I like that. We like this. It's like just a tint. It was the color is sensational velvet beige from where's this place from? Boots. Boots. And this was from Mamaso. What do we think? The final look. I really like this one. This is so nice. I don't know where this is from, but I think it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. It says something professional. Colour Sensation, I think, is Maybelline, because this is also Colour Sensation. Yeah, color yeah. Sensation. Maybelline New York. Thumbnail. I love this one. I really like this one. I'm going to wear it out tomorrow for more. Casual day. Okay.